Are you thinking about buying a fixer upper and want to know what to look for? We're talking about that now on Speaking Frankly. My name is Frank Hunton and I am a realtor with Hunton Properties and Keller Williams Realty Partners in Woodstock, Georgia, and this is Speaking Frankly. Buying property that needs work, renovating it, and selling it for a profit has always been a pretty good investment. But through TV shows like Fixer Upper and Flipper Flop and its various spin-offs, it's also become more popular over the past several years and therefore more competitive. Today we're talking about the good, the bad, and the ugly when shopping for a Fixer Upper. Let's start with the qualities you should be looking for in any home you buy. First of course is location because no matter how perfect the renovation is, if your home is in a shady neighborhood, no one's gonna come knock down your door when it comes time to sell it. So shop in desirable areas with good schools and healthy market growth. It's also important to make sure that the house has good bones, that it's attractive from the curb or at least has potential, and that the layout flows naturally from room to room. Before you spend a lot of money to dress up a home, Make sure that each room works on a functional level first because no amount of stainless steel or granite is going to fix a tiny kitchen. In other words, don't try too hard to polish that turd. By their very nature, fixer-uppers will come with a laundry list of things that need to be done. But this is no reason to skip the home inspection. Always make sure to hire a qualified and trusted home inspector to do a thorough inspection of the property so you know exactly what you're getting before you buy. Then work with your agent to review the findings and set priorities based on your budget and willingness or ability to tackle major projects. Especially look out for foundation issues and structural damage, outdated electrical and plumbing systems. You could potentially dump a lot of money into these fixes and not see any return on your investment because these are fixes that a buyer is unlikely to see. If the decor hasn't been changed since Elvis was alive, don't get so shook up that you walk out on a great deal. Look at it this way. Lime green shag carpet and avocado appliances are the color of money. Okay, that was a little cheesy. But an eyesore that can be ripped out and replaced is an easy way to add equity to your home. Just make sure you pay cash for the upgrades and that you don't price yourself out of the neighborhood. Before you sign on the dotted line, do a basic cost analysis on the worst case scenario. Plan for at least one budget buster by adding 10 to 15% to your renovation estimate. If the cost to renovate pushes the value of your home above and beyond everybody else in the neighborhood, you are unlikely to get your money back. If this is the case, either lower your offer or look for a better value elsewhere. In a nutshell, you're looking for the worst home in the best neighborhood. But before you go throwing your life savings into a fixer-upper, consult an experienced real estate agent. A true pro will steer you away from the money pit and help you find the home that's right for you. My name is Frank Hunton, and I am a realtor with Hunton Properties and Keller Williams Realty Partners in Woodstock, Georgia, and this is Speaking Frankly. If you haven't subscribed yet, why not? Please do so now. Please show us some love. Give us a thumbs up below, leave us a comment, let us know how we're doing, and also share this with as many people as possible. We really do appreciate your support. Thank you.